Welcome back to The Drawing Board, brought to you by CyberArk. I'm Emma Telpe, and joining us to talk about securing application sessions is Stas Neiman from the CyberArk product marketing team. Thanks, Emma. Glad to be here. As a security professional, you've likely had your fair share of oh shoot moments. Oh shoot? Oh shoot! For example, discovering an unauthorized change in your production security systems, like an open firewall port, a disabled backup configuration, or a suspicious account with elevated privileges that you definitely did not create. Of course, these moments aren't limited to just IT professionals. Emma, what other teams encounter risky situations? Hmm, how about finance? All right. You could get a message from your finance team that they discovered that both the bank account and the routing number for an approved wire transaction were incorrect, and they want to know what happened. Would marketing teams be included? Absolutely. Marketing professionals like myself aren't an exception. Imagine pulling up your company's Twitter feed and seeing a post that clearly should have been a DM. Like I said, oh, oh shoot. shoot. But couldn't all of those things just have been honest mistakes? Sure, they could. Or they could have been malicious insider activity or something even more nefarious. The question is, how can you find out what really happened? Chances are, your investigation will involve combing through thousands of lines of logs. And that's if we assume the application in question comes with auditing capabilities in first place. This, of course, is not a guarantee, but is also not scalable especially given the number of users and applications you might have. You know what would be amazing? Is if you had a way to reconstruct step-by-step -step actions everyday end users took within the app. You're right. See, most of the identity and access management solutions use single sign-on and multi-factor authentication to guard the door. They validate users are who they say they are before access is granted, but they often stop there. Security teams need something that goes a step beyond authentication and provides insight into users' action during sessions. This is starting to sound familiar, Stas. That's because it is. Security teams traditionally apply these types of controls to highly privileged users, like system admins accessing highly sensitive resources, such as domain servers and data backups. But as we discussed in these examples, almost every user in your organization can take risky actions within applications they have access to as part of their jobs. Therefore, what's needed is to apply same controls and principles reserved for privileged users to your workforce identities. This will allow you to verify your users, quickly reconstruct sessions, and identify specific steps that users took before, during, and after the change was made. In addition, you'll have a rock-solid audit trail that you can use to identify malicious behavior, remediate unauthorized actions, and improve controls. So let's go back to our three scenarios to see how things would be different with app session security. Sure. You would be able to find a specific user who made the unauthorized change in your production security tools. See if this change was a one-off or was made as part of your broader initiative and quickly revert settings and configurations to original values using a step-by-step -step activity reporter. All right, what about the finance example? Well, here, access to banking website or wire interface is shared among the finance team. So you'll be able to search for all users who access banking site and made changes to the bank number field. So in addition, even if the banking website does not provide any access logs and the user reverted banking information to hide their tracks, you'd still have audit evidence that the change was made. Right, and this is especially important for organizations that have regulatory compliance and auditing requirements. And the same applies to the marketing example we discussed. Here, you would be able to find the offender and take remediation steps to prevent this from happening in the future. This resembles DVR technology, and applying these capabilities to web sessions can really benefit companies with users routinely accessing high-value data. That's right, and companies are clearly signaling a need for this. We surveyed 900 security decision makers to learn about the challenges they're facing. Our research shows that 63% give their end users access to between five and 10 applications with access to sensitive resources, sometimes more. Meanwhile, on a weekly basis, 54% of organizations investigate user activity stemming from security incidents or compliance issues. But here's the problem. 
when oh shoot moments emerge and it's time to manually comb through user logs, many organizations can do even that. Nearly half mention limited ability to view logs and audit user activity. So security teams may want to ask themselves some candid questions like, do you have the ability to monitor and take screenshots of actions users take within web apps down to every click? To the point where you can visually reconstruct each session and without ever touching a log file? Exactly. And with capabilities like that, you can turn your oh shoot moments into oh yeah moments. You can learn more about how CyberArk is helping organizations secure their users' web application sessions through reporting, monitoring, and more by visiting cyberarc.com. Thanks for tuning in to The Drawing Board, brought to you by CyberArk. See you next time.